In today's video, we're going to be looking at the German Shorthead Pointer and how adaptable they are. Welcome back to the German Shorthead Pointer channel. If this is your first time here, my name's Mimi and I'm a registered canine leader here at Fenrir CanineLeaders.com. This channel is dedicated to helping you learn everything you could possibly want to know about the GSP, then how to become high level canine leaders that can raise perfect German Shorthead Pointers. So if you're a lifelong German Shorthead Pointer lover, you're thinking about getting one, or you've just started your journey with your new pup, then this channel is for you. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you never miss a future German Shorthead Pointer video. So then let's get into today's video where we will be looking at the German Shorthead Pointer and how adaptable they are. It should come as no surprise that these dogs thrive in a busy, active lifestyle. The breed has been cultivated into incredible working dogs. Loyalty and close bonds to their family are what can be expected from a GSP. But this means that you should be providing the right setting for them. They are also best suited to experienced dog owners or those that can allow their GSP to be predominantly outside exploring or working. A working home or one that enjoys engaging, interesting hikes and the best environment for a GSP. They won't adapt well to an unstimulating environment and their loyalty to their family as a whole, but you may find that they will have their favourite person. If for some reason they are unable to be with their favourite person for an extended period of time, they may take time to adapt to them. They won't adapt well to an unstimulating environment and their loyalty is to their family as a whole, but you may find that they will have their favourite person. If for some reason they are unable to be with that favourite person for an extended period of time, they may take time to adapt to that. The close bonds they create with their families are a wonderful trait of this breed, but this can lead them to be incapable of coping for being alone for an extended period of time. If they are left in an unstimulating environment, they tend to display destructive behaviours. This may never be an issue should you provide the right training and mental engagement for them. A working dog will happily spend an evening asleep for the best part of an afternoon by themselves, and that would be thanks to the high level of engagement they've had during the day. But a pet pointer won't feel as much ease to sleep if their brains aren't tired. They will instead turn to destructive behaviours. If you find yourself needing to leave your GSP at home for a couple of hours alone, then giving them Kongs filled with their favourite treat or another puzzle feeder, that can engage them enough for you to escape teeth marks in your furniture. Another key aspect of this dog's personality is that they instinctively have a very high prey drive and working drive. This is something that can only be curbed by consistent, strong training. So yes, it's fair to say that this is a highly strong breed. They need a high level of engagement and mental stimulation. Without that, they will be destructive and mischievous. The best way to curb this is by having a strict training regime, and if possible, you should try to replicate the activities that they as a breed were bred to do. So incorporating sniffer training, flushing and retrieving will help to create a GSP that is calm and satisfied in the home environment. The GSP is a mediumly built dog weighing up to 30 kilograms. They're sturdy and well-built working dogs, meaning they aren't built for smaller home environments. They have bounds of energy and will need a large secure garden to keep them from escaping after a rabbit or squirrel. A country home with plenty of grounds would be the perfect home for a GSP. They would not adapt very well to a flat or small terraced house. A positive to them being a well-built working dog is that they're built for all weather and environments. They're easy and happiest out in the field, no matter if it's raining or even snowing. Whilst they wouldn't adapt well to downsizing their home, they will be fine in most countries, despite what the weather throws at them. So let's recap on the adaptability of the GSP. These are hardy, well-built working dogs that are loyal to their families, but they may have their favourites. They're happiest in a busy, engaging environment. They won't adapt well to a slow-paced family home. The high level of intelligence and working drive can lead to destructive behaviours and separation anxiety if they are left alone for long periods of time. In addition to the high intelligence, these are dogs with a bounds of energy and a keen mind. They will not adapt to a lifestyle in a flat or small terraced house. Instead, they are best suited to a home with a large, well-fenced garden. And lastly, they are hardy dogs built for the outside world, so they will do well in weather conditions if provided the right shelter and diet. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If so, make sure you hit that like button, get involved down in the comment section below, and don't forget that if you are new here to make sure you subscribe. We have two dedicated German Shorthead Pointer videos coming here every week, so I can't wait to talk to you again on the next episode of the German Shorthead Pointer channel.